I know, right? I know, right? It's really bad for adults, and they've got nothing for students. Which... It's actually really efficient. I was unsure at the beginning because it's just natural to feel unsure. And then after actually being with it for a long time now, you can see the evidence right in front of you. So, Teaching and education will be transformed by AI. There's no doubt about that. And AI is not going away. So you either be agile and adopt it, or you could become later on, to some extent, a victim of it. So what we're trying to achieve here, and I think many other schools, is working with it. I have my intuition, I have my experience, which is worth something, but I can't pinpoint it. The AI systems can give you that level of granularity. They can pinpoint why, and they can tell you what the student knows and what they don't know, with a greater degree of accuracy than your average teacher. Anyone in a teaching capacity is kind of there to make an impact and a change, a positive change to young people's lives. And that's what I get to focus on now because I, I don't spend my time teaching uh, lesson content. So I'm really hopeful that for teachers these tools will enable them to do things they haven't been able to do before, will enable them to have insights into exactly where a student's struggling and exactly where they can put their, their help. Because there's one thing for sure, we don't want classrooms without teachers. There can be risks involved with poorly designed artificial intelligence that might give mis or disinformation to the student. There are risks related to students inappropriately offloading activity to AI that would be better done by themselves, allowing them to rely too much on the AI. So there are a lot of risks that we need to make sure.